Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Delivery Date and Time Plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the customers to choose their preferred delivery date and time slot for their orders at the time of checkout. The delivery methods can be of same day, custom or configured and customers can choose any one of them at a time. Apart from that, the admin can create uh, multiple delivery slots for each day of the week and can set the maximum order quota for each slot as required. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the storefront and I'll be showing you how the customers can choose their preferred uh, delivery date and time at the checkout page. But before we proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So uh, apart from showing you the workflow at the customer's end, I'll also be showing you the backend configuration settings required for this particular plugin in the admin backend panel. So first of all, let's hop on to the front end. As you can see, I'm on the shop page right now for the WooCommerce store. So I'll be adding one of the products into the cart. I've already logged into my customer account there. So let's proceed further to the checkout page. Now here on the checkout page, all of the details are auto filled for the customer. And here just below the additional information, uh, you'll find the option for the delivery time slots. Now here we have three different types of delivery methods that can be chosen by the customer. The very uh, first one here is configured, custom and same day. If I choose same day and place the order, the order would be uh, delivered to the customer within the next 12 to 24 hours. Then we have the custom. Within the custom, what the customer can do is uh, he can basically select the delivery date from the, uh, from the particular section here. Uh, as per his own requirement and can give the time slot or can set the time slot within which he wants to get that particular delivery at his particular place and can place the order thereafter. And then we have the configured. Now here uh, for the configured when we are choosing the delivery uh, date, these dates are being configured by the admin from the admin backend panel and it depends uh, for which weekdays uh, the admin has enabled the delivery there. Now here the customer can choose his preferred uh, delivery date and according to the chosen delivery date he has uh, to select the pre-configured time slots for those delivery dates as required. Each day of the week can have multiple slots as well. For this example we have just created only one slot uh, for each day of the week there. And now for example after I've selected uh, my or I've chosen my delivery method here as configured I've chosen the date as 25th. You can see that the 24th is not uh, accessible right now as it's 24th today. So I'll be showing you that in a while from now when we are checking the configuration settings why this option is not uh, available for the customers to select. And I've enabled the days of the weeks for the complete uh, seven days of the week but only five days are visible right now. That I'll also be showing you in the configuration settings how we can uh, set the number of days uh, to get visible to the customers there for selection. Now after choosing the configured one, uh, what you need to do is choose your delivery date, select the uh, appropriate uh, time slot and then tap on the place order button. Now after you've placed the order, you can see that the order has been received. If I scroll down here, here we'll be able to see the delivery time slots that have been selected by the customer. That's December 25th and uh, the time slot uh, that he has selected is uh, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. in the evening there. Now, uh, before uh, the order gets completed, the customer has the option to reschedule the uh, delivery slots. So uh, to reschedule a delivery slot, what you need to do is you just need to tap here on the reschedule button. Now kindly note that uh, in the rescheduling system, the configured uh, delivery dates and the slots would be available to the customers to choose from. They cannot go for their own custom or same day, uh, what we said, options there. So for example, I need to uh, uh, reschedule this one. So I have to uh, select the pre-configured dates that, has, that the admin has uh, created from the backend. And I have to select the slots that are available for the same. And then I have to tap on the submit button. And on the prompt, if I tap OK, you'll see that the particular delivery date and time has changed here. As you can see from uh, 25th, it has been changed to 27th, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
Now let me go back to the shop page and let me add uh, this product into the cart. Let's wave the product and now let's uh, tap here on the proceed to checkout button. On the checkout page if I scroll down here I have the delivery time slot section. So here I've shown you the uh, the, uh, or the delivery method for the configured thing uh, that are basically con the, where the delivery date and the time slots are being configured by the admin. Then we have the custom. Here you can choose your delivery date as per your own requirement there and you can choose the slot as well. So you can set up a slot uh, within which you want to have the, the particular order being delivered there. After choosing the same you can tap here on the place order button and the order would get placed there. Now if I scroll down for the order number 73 here. Uh, I can see the December 24th as the delivery date and the delivery time as 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. there. If you want, you can also reschedule it, but uh, the rescheduling would be according to the configured delivery date and the time slots according, uh, uh, accordingly that have been created by the admin from the backend panel configuration settings there. So according to that, you can select the particular one. So 24th has already been chosen now. We can choose 25, 26, 27, 28 or 29th there and the slot according to the same can be chosen and we can submit that up to change the delivery there as you can see we have changed the delivery. The same goes for uh, the last one, the last uh, delivery option that we have. So if I go to add to cart, view cart, proceed to checkout and after that if I scroll down here. I can choose the same day option as well and I can place the order thereafter. Now the person placing it for the same day can also change the delivery time there. So you can see that it's for 24th December there and the delivery time is 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the evening there. So the order would be placed and would be delivered within the particular delivery time for the same day delivery method chosen there by the customer. So now this was uh, the workflow at the customer's end. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel. So after the successful installation of this particular plugin, the admin will find one option uh, with the name delivery time slots. And under that he has three different options. One is add slots, slot order and configuration. So the very first option that we have here is add slots. So here you can add the slots for each day of the week as per your own requirement. So you can see that for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, I've added the time slots as 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. in the evening and I've set the quota or the number of orders that can be taken uh, within those uh, particular start and end time as 5 orders, 3, 10, 3, 8 and so on and so forth. And I've also enabled these up. Now for each day, you can also add multiple slots. So for Sunday, I can add more slots here as per my own requirement there so for sunday i have a slot between 8 and 8 am and uh, 8 pm in the evening i can set it to 12 uh, pm to uh, what we say as 4 pm in the evening as well as per my own requirement to remove a particular one you can tap here on the remove button as well and then you can tap here on the save changes to save the changes uh, for these uh, particular slots now these slots are used for the uh, configured uh, delivery system that we are choosing at the checkout time by the customer. So we have already seen the configured, custom and the same day. Now coming to the slot order, all of the orders for the slots that have been placed would be visible here as you can see right now. So from here the admin can view any of the particular order by tapping on the view order button and from here they can choose the particular order status. For example, completed I'm choosing and I've set completed uh, for that and uh, basically now you can see that we have updated it to completed. Now if I go back to the slot orders, the particular order would be, uh, so, or the particular order status would be changed from not delivered to delivered now. Okay. So that's how you can manage these orders here. And here you can see we have, we have the delivery type as configured, custom, same day configured same day along with the order ID, the delivery date, time slot and the status along with the actions column with the view order option. Now lastly coming to the configuration section, 
here we have two different configuration tabs one is the general and one is the advanced let's go to the advanced one so under the advanced what you can do is you can allow the custom slots uh, to be enabled if allowed then the customers can select the custom slots as per their requirement otherwise you can not allow those you can allow to re reschedule these slots as well by choosing this option as allow and you can allow the same day delivery slots as well so we saw the configured custom and same day ones so you, accordingly you can uh, enable these options from here that's the allow custom slots allow to reschedule the slots allow the same day delivery slots to be enabled at the checkout now coming to the general section here we can enable or disable the functionality by choosing the enable or disable option then we have the allowed days for delivery so from here you can choose the allowed days uh, for the delivery there and the same would be reflected at the uh, checkout time uh, while they are cho choosing the delivery uh, day there on the uh, calendar there then we have the select complete status order so here you have to choose the order status that is set under the orders here uh, for setting up the slot order status as complete so here you have to choose it as completed or on hold for example if i choose it as on hold and for example i'm going to the slot orders here and i'm going to view order which is not uh, delivered yet then if I am setting it as on hold and updating it up then what would happen is that this order would then be set as uh, delivered there so right now we have chosen it as uh, the completed so whenever we are choosing it as completed under the orders there the delivery slot order is basically changing the status as delivered there for the respective order now coming back to the configuration settings then we have the time zone so here you have to select your time zone from the drop down as per your own requirement there then here we have a display total number of days so for example uh, if you're setting allowed days for delivery as Sunday to Saturday these are seven days now you just want to display only for example five days that is Monday uh, or Sunday to uh, uh, or Monday to uh, for example Monday to Thursday right Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, these are the five days, then you can set the display total number of days as five. Now what that would do is that would only display the five days as you can see here. We have one, two, three, four and five days being displayed. Uh, but we had enabled it for the Thursday, Friday and Saturday as well. But only we are seeing five days there. Uh, because we have set the configuration to display the total number of days at the uh, checkout there to 5. Then we have the minimum required time. So this is the, the time uh, that you've selected here is in days and it is the minimum required time for order process in days. So for example, it was 24th today, but 24th is not uh, the selectable for the customer. So the order processing would start from the next day still. So if I would have set it as two days, then the order processing would have started from the 26th uh, that Sunday right for this particular configuration there and lastly we have the error message so here you can set up the display error message on the unavailability of this particular uh, delivery method there and lastly what you can do is you can tap here on the save changes button to save the configuration settings so yes, that was much about the uh, WooCommerce delivery date and time plugin and I showed you uh, how the plugin allows the customers to choose their preferred delivery date and time slot for their orders at the time of checkout and the delivery methods that are the configured custom and the same day and I showed you how to choose them up and how to reschedule a particular uh, delivery time slot that you booked there if you want and I showed you the admin backend as well. So yes, that was much about uh, today's uh, video tutorial and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And lastly, Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.